doing here? Are you on leave from... The finest weapons and armor. Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Of course. Take what you need. But what's all this about? What are you two doing here? Dragon? In Helgen? That explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. A dragon. Here in Skyrim. What's this world coming to? First the war, now dragons. Trouble loves company, they say. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. You've done well. Come on inside. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell us what happened.
like this in a way down in the dunes. And I've got better things to do than this in the world. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all and then you'll believe it. Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Maybe... Never mind. He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you... could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. I'll show you what I know. for work. Got business here in Riverwood, eh? At least the damned war hasn't gotten here. Yes. company.
We've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy. Helgen was destroyed? How did you get away? I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tully as a scold. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. When your friend told me, I didn't believe it at first either. Mara's mercy. A dragon? In Helgen? Why, you could be here at any moment. I'm sure Riverwood will be all right, dear. When the Yara learns what's happened, he's sure to send soldiers. Go on, Hadvar. Let's hear the rest of it. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Jarl Balgraf? He rules Whiterun Hold. A good man. Perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. Of course, Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair-weather friends. Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torik when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torik, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Take what you Hi, need, Tom. my friend. Did you really see Within a dragon? Reason, what did course. it look like? Did it have big teeth? All right. Well, I'd better get back to work. You two make yourselves at home. Did you really see a dragon? It's nice to be back in a friendly spot, huh? Listen, I'm going to lay up here for a while. You can make your own way to Solitude from here. I'd recommend heading to Whiterun, just down the road from here. From there you can take a carriage to Solitude. Just head north, you can't miss it. It's the capital of Whiterun Hold. The biggest and the best of the nine holds of Skyrim. But don't take my word for it. Make yourself at home. Stay sharp. You're pretty, I'll give you that. Just stay away from my husband, Alvar. Hmm? I hope I'll see you in solitude. Good luck. Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers, but you seem all right.
Did you really see a dragon? What's wrong with you? Take a seat and get the cold out, Orgnar. Orgnar. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Did you hear me? What is this? The elf playing a treachery? Shocking. As if I would write this dribble. How about we play a bit of a turnabout with Feindal? Here. I had to use simple words, but this letter should convince Camilla it's from him. At the Bard's College in Solitude, they train bards and skulls like myself. If you go there, talk to Viarmo. He's the headmaster. Lucan's got a little bit of everything at the Riverwood Trader. If you need weapons or armor, see Alvor, the blacksmith. Sure. What can I do for you? Only true Imperials request that one. We drink to our youth. Today's come and gone. The age of aggression is just about gone. You're that visitor been poking around. Drive out the I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. They say a dragon attacked Helgen. Sounds like hogwash to me. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Need a room? Talk to Delphine. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? There have been whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino, been trying to contact. 
The Dark Brotherhood. Looking to blow yourself up? I hear that's what magic does to you. There's a college in Winterhold that teaches magic. Unless that blew up too. Be a lot safer just to have the Jarl's wizard teach you a thing or two. All right then. something Need something? <laughs> well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh. <clears throat> customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Yeah, well, I don't know. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a gen... Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. So this is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Well, no, I... By the eight, fine! but only to the edge of town. This way. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? Oh my. He... He wanted me to think Fandal wrote this? Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Fandal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. Until next time. This way.
We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. It was a tricky one. Yes? This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. Well, it's a winding road up the mountain just ahead. You'll know you're in the right place once you spot the old watchtower. Once you get to the tower, head north. Bleak Falls Barrow should be just around the corner further up. Good luck. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Looks like that's it. Got to go.
What do you want? Say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Jester, funny suit and all, just north by the Laureate's farm. Fool had a coffin in his heart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, sounds like you've had quite the journey, Uthgard. But you were gone longer than usual. I got to thinking maybe you weren't coming back. You sound like my ma. Figured I was lying dead in the field somewhere, is that it? Thought did cross my mind, yeah. War brewing, talk of a riot in Helgen, that now jesters? Skyrim's gone mad, girl. You need to be careful out there. Careful, huh? Thanks, Skullbar. I'll remember that. <laughs> ha, yeah, right. Got the fleetest steeds and all. Think you can go Skyrim. blade to blade with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. The heat of the battle is the fire that forges the strongest blades. It's an old Nord proverb. That, and a true Nord never misses a chance to test her work. Good. Chat time's over. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Riverwood's in danger too? You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach, at the top of the hill. Must have or swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the 
Grey Mane or Battleborn. Then I say, well met, friend. I could tell you were a sharp one the moment I laid eyes on you. <laughs> Long live the Empire. Well, hello. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Just want to go home and read. You tried mercenary like work? In my suit. Talk of dragons. World gone mad, I say. Everything's all right. My lord, please. This is no time for rash action. I just think we need more information. What's the meaning of this interruption? I just Jarl Balgruf is not receiving Who's visitors. This, then? Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? By Ismir, Irileth was right! What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... Enough! I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people! Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come. Let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. 
Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me? Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. An old tomb, built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Ah, student of the craft. You'll need to start by learning an enchantment. Take an enchanted weapon or piece of armor. Then use the arcane enchanter to learn its secrets. The item is destroyed in the process, so be wary. Once you know an enchantment, you'll need a filled soul gem and something to enchant. You'll use the arcane enchanter for that, too. Of course, I have everything you need for sale if you have the coin. I'm not surprised you've never heard of it. Even I used to think it was just a myth. But not anymore. The Dragon War was a real event. Although only the barest glimmer of the actual events has come down to us. Far back in the mythic era, the dragons were worshipped as gods in Skyrim. Many of the monumental ruins that still dot the landscape were in fact built as temples to the dragons. The details are lost, but at some point, the Nords rebelled. After a long and terrible war, the Nords overthrew their dragon overlords. Oh no. Many were killed, of course. But many survived into historical times. Why, this very palace was built by one of Balgruf's ancestors to hold a captive dragon. Hence its name, Dragon's Reach. I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. Take a look. Sadly, no. My work affords me few opportunities for such an adventure. Perhaps some hero will bring one to Dragon's Reach, like old Olaf one I once did. What a fascinating conversation that would be. One I once did. What a fascinating conversation that would be. priority now. You know, Anything if you've got the aptitude, to fight this dragon, you should join the Mage's dragons. College in Winterhold. You need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Balgruf. You seem to have found me an able assistant. 
I'm sure she will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Oh, I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Vault Barrow. Glad you're here in the city, and not out in Riverwood. Those poor sods don't even have a wall. Man, you said, let me show you the power of Talos Storm Crown, born of the North, where my bread is long winter. I breathe now. You should talk to Adrian at the forge.
Yes. You look tired, friend. The Bannered Mare has beds for relic. Yes, Housecar. We'll leave immediately. It's just us against the dragon. Is that it? I can't afford to send anyone else. Hmm? And we don't know where the dragon is. Need something? Your main job will be to keep an eye Take a look. Get the people to safety if the town is attacked. Mm. I don't expect the three of you to fight off the dragon by yourself. But I do expect you to do your duty. Of course. We'll keep Ribbon yes, so on. You can count on it. Balgruff and I share a battle bond. We met as youth and forged our friendship in the fires of war. When he became Jarl, I insisted on serving as his protector. He had no cause to argue. Gods, you are curious. Almost dangerously so. I am charged with protecting the Jarl from any and all threats. Powerful men have many enemies, more so in times of strife. So you can imagine the dangers. Oh yes. There have been attempts on the Jarl's life. More than one would-be assassin has met his end at the tip of my blade. Take your pick. Dragons, Stormcloak assassins, ambitious and unscrupulous nobles. Sometimes I think his own children want him dead. And those are just the physical threats. Assaults on his sanity are another matter entirely. Every day he deals with obsequious functionaries and incompetent bureaucrats. Sadly, I'm not allowed to eliminate them. Well, not yet, anyway. I've got Let's my eyes on you. Time's a waste. And just like that, guys, we've come to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, hit that like button. And if you didn't, smash it twice to tell me how angry you are. Don't forget to pop the subscribe button as well as ring the bell icon to get notified of any future videos. Oh, and uh, check this little video out. You can also subscribe over here. And this video is pretty cool too.